Hi, I'm Dan Rosenberger with Echo Incorporated, and today we're going to talk about how to select your gas hedge trimmer. Some of the things we're going to talk about today are, why buy a gas hedge trimmer versus an electric hedge trimmer? We'll talk about some of the pros and cons. Then we'll talk about the tasks that will be performed with your gas hedge trimmer. What's the application? What unit do you need to buy? Then we're going to talk about the safety features of your gas hedge trimmer. And lastly, we're going to talk about the additional features that you may need to look for when purchasing your gas hedge trimmer. Now let's talk about some of the safety concerns you need to consider when purchasing your next gas hedge trimmer. You want to make sure it has a safety lock. This stops the throttle from being pulled uh, when it's off. You want to make sure that the on-off switch is easily accessible. Uh, this particular model has a translucent tank that you can see your fuel level. Uh, you want to make sure that, that it's got a shield that protects your left hand since your left hand is closest to the blades. Uh, this model has a blade protector. If it does come in contact with your body, it's going to stop clothes from getting uh, pulled into that. It's going to stop larger material from getting jammed into your blades. You always want to remember that you want to keep your sheath on your blades when you're not using it. The blades are razor sharp and uh, can cut you very easily. So you always want to use leather gloves, very important when using your gas hedge trimmer. You want to use hearing protection. You want to make sure you wear safety glasses because there is going to debris com be coming off of the blades, so you always want to wear safety glasses. Uh, if you can, wear a long sleeve shirt with long pants along with closed toed shoes. So those are some of the things you want to consider when purchasing your next gas hedge trimmer. I've had over 10 years of experience working with end users, dealers, distributors, and manufacturers. But over the last four years, I've been with Echo Power Equipment, an equipment manufacturer in the outdoor power equipment industry for more than 30 years. So now let's get started on selecting your next gas hedge trimmer. Hi, I'm Dan with Echo Incorporated. Today we're talking about how to select your next gas hedge trimmer. And now let's talk about selecting your gas hedge trimmer versus an electric or battery pack. First let's talk about the time it takes to refuel your gas hedge trimmer versus the time it takes to get a cord or recharge your battery powered. A gas hedge trimmer takes literally minutes to refuel, then you're back on the job site. Uh, an electric hedge trimmer, you've got to pull the cord out, then you've got to find an outlet if you get too far away from your job site, you've got to run to get another cord. Or, in many cases, uh, cutting your electric cord uh, happens many times. Um, recharging a battery power pack can take up to an hour. So when you consider the time it takes to refuel a gas versus the electric or battery powered, much less time with a, a gas powered hedge trimmer. And then let's talk about the maneuverability of your gas hedge trimmer. You've got no cords to worry about when you're using your gas hedge trimmer. They're very maneuverable, very lightweight. You can also get a gas hedge trimmer in variable sizes, different CCs, different displacements, where most of your battery powered and your electric hedge trimmer are on the smaller side. They can only be used for some light sculpting and uh, everyday uh, light duty use. So those are some of the things to consider when purchasing your gas hedge trimmer versus your battery or electric powered. Now let's talk about some of the tasks that will be performed while using your gas hedge trimmer. Hi, I'm Dan with Echo Incorporated. Today we're talking about how to select your next gas hedge trimmer. And now let's talk about the tasks that are going to be performed and the applications that you need to think about when selecting your next gas hedge trimmer. Gas hedge trimmers come in various different sizes, uh, displacements, blade length, and uh, shaft sizes. So first let's talk about a double-sided 21cc gas hedge trimmer. This hedge trimmer comes in 18 to 24 inches in blade length. Uh, this particular model is a 21cc, but you notice that it is double-sided and it is reciprocating, which means both blades move in a parallel motion cutting the debris. So a double-sided gas hedge trimmer this size is used for some light sculpting. Uh, it is very maneuverable and it is very lightweight. The next size or the next uh, hedge trimmer we're going to talk about is a single-sided hedge trimmer. This particular model also comes in various blade lengths 
in CC ranges. This particular model is a 24 inch single sided 21 cc gas hedge trimmer. And this hedge trimmer is going to be used for estate hedges or long rows of hedges where you're going to make one single motion upwards and then move on to the next set of hedges. And we also have a shafted hedge trimmer. Um, you want to think about your application for a shafted hedge trimmer. They also come in various CC and displacement engine sizes. Uh, you can pick the shaft length uh, from shorter to longer. This one is a fixed gear case. You can also get an articulating gear case, which will actually rotate 180 degrees uh, to where you can cut a 90 degree angle on a tall hedge. So this model comes with a 20 inch reciprocating blade, which means that they move in parallel, parallel opposite directions cutting your material. The one advantage with an extended reach hedge trimmer is you can reach extended lengths much more than you can with a single sided or double sided. So those are some of the applications, some of the tasks that you'll be performing with your gas hedge trimmers. So up next, let's talk about some of the safety considerations you'll need to think about when selecting your next gas hedge trimmer. Hi, I'm Dan Rosenberger with Echo Incorporated. And today we're going to talk about how to select your next gas hedge trimmer. And now let's talk about some of the safety features that you'll need to consider when selecting your next gas hedge trimmer. First let's talk about the throttle lockout. This is a safety feature that makes sure that your hand is all the way around the handle and easily accessible to the trigger. If you would happen to fall and the throttle lock is not engaged and the trigger gets pushed, it doesn't activate. So that's a safety feature. You want to make sure that your on off switch is easily accessible. Many times when cutting hedges you'll need to start and stop to either remove the material or stand back and make sure that you're rounding it or squaring it off correctly. So you want to make sure that it's easy accessible and works correctly. This particular model has a translucent tank and you can see as I move it back and forth you can see the level of fuel. You always want to have enough fuel to complete the job. Next, let's talk about the front handle. Your left hand is going to be the closest hand to the blades, and you want to make sure that it's protected uh, entirely from the blades in case your hand slips off, or if you get material coming back, it's going to protect uh, your hand from there. This model here has a blade guard. This not only protects the blade from too big of material entering the blade, it also protects if you would happen to brush it against your pants leg or your arm. Uh, these tips extend past the blade. So the tips will actually stop your leg or your arm from impeding inside into the cutting area. This unit also has a blade tip guard. Uh, this is going to protect these last couple blades from hitting whether it's the house or a concrete block uh, or the ground. Uh, also, if you happen to start this uh, up next to something, it's going to stop that first blade from making contact uh, with something. So those are the, some of the things to consider uh, when selecting your ne next gas hedge trimmer. Now let's talk about some of the safety apparel that you'll need when using your gas hedge trimmer. First, you want to have a set of safety glasses. You do get some material coming off of the blade, so you want to make sure that your eyes are protected. It is a gas engine, so you want to make sure and have hearing protection. And remember, always to wear a nice set of leather gloves. Not only to protect your hands from the flying material, but to protect your hands from the blades if you do make contact. Up next, let's talk about some of the additional features you're going to need to know when selecting your next gas hedge trimmer. Hi, I'm Dan Rosenberger with Echo Incorporated, and today we're talking about how to select your next gas hedge trimmer. Now let's talk about some of the additional features that you'll want to look for when selecting your next gas hedge trimmer. First, let's talk about the handle. You want to make sure that it's sturdy and that it fits your hand. Uh, handles come in various different sizes and widths. Uh, some are plastic, some are laid with a rubber overmold, but you want to make sure that it's comfortable in your hand then your hand fits the handle. 
You want to look for a unit with a translucent tank. A translucent tank, you can tell what the fuel level is, and you always want to make sure that you have enough fuel in the fuel tank to complete your job. You want to make sure that it's easy starting. Uh, starting recoils range from I-30 all the way up to an I-75. So this particular unit will take 75% of the energy away when you go to start it. So it's very easy starting. You want to make sure that it has a, a heavy duty gearbox. Uh, this particular unit has a grease zerk. So you can, you can grease it, it's easy to maintain. And uh, you always want to make sure that you try to find a gas head trimmer with a heavy duty gearbox. You always want to make sure that it has a front handle. This is your left hand that's most susceptible to injury, both from flying debris and it's the closest hand to the blades. So you want to make sure that you get a gas hedge trimmer with a nice solid guard for your left hand. And then let's talk about the blades. These blades are precisionly cut. They are uh, sharpened on three sides. So the top and then both sides. Since it is a reciprocating um, blade, both edges will actually cut. The tops are ground, so you actually cut the material before you cut it. And then another feature that you want to look for is to make sure that the blades have a, a guard on them. It's about a quarter inch to three eighths of an inch uh, above the blades. So that's going to keep your hands, your finger, your clothing uh, too large of an object outside of the blades. Hopefully these tips have been helpful in how to select your next gas hedge trimmer. Good luck.